too brain or not too brain? That is the question. Okay, okay, okay. Have you ever been told that you're left-brained or right-brained? Maybe you took a test online. Or maybe someone even told you that in school. Cool, cool, cool. But here's the thing. The idea that a person is left-brained or right-brained is a complete myth. Have you ever seen someone walking around with half a head? I didn't think so. So let's talk about it. Where did the left-brain, right-brain myth come from? How do we know it's wrong? And why is it important to bust this myth? So just where did this nonsense begin? Well, we know the brain has two hemispheres, a left hemisphere connected to a right hemisphere. And for years, scientists have been trying to understand what's going on in each of these two hemispheres. Way back in the 1800s, two neurologists examined patients who struggled with speech due to brain injuries. They found that all of these patients had damage to the left temporal lobes of their brains. So they deduced that language is probably controlled by the left side of the brain. Later on, scientists began studying people with what's known as split brain syndrome. This is a condition in which the left and right hemispheres are not connected. Scientists found, once again, that some specific functions tended to exist primarily on one side of the brain or the other. For example, just as speech was primarily on the left side, attention was mainly governed by the right side of the brain. So specific functions do tend to lie primarily in specific regions of the brain, sometimes on the right and sometimes on the left. But let me be clear, everyone uses all of their brain. Differences between regions are the same for everyone. They don't define your personality and they have nothing to do with your general inclinations, interests, or talents. How do we know this? Let's examine some more research. Countless studies have shown that performing specific tasks is really about neural networks. Take language, for example. It is true that the left hemisphere plays a more important role in the ability to speak than the right. However, complex skills like understanding what we read or comprehending what someone is saying absolutely require both hemispheres working both independently and together. So even though speech lies primarily on the left side, an excellent communicator needs both sides. Voila. And as for those math wizards and artistic geniuses, they need both sides too. Oftentimes, what they really have going on is excellent communication between the two sides of their brains. Lots of neural connections making up lots of networks. In one study, scientists used brain imaging to monitor the brains of 1,000 people. Not a single person in the study relied more on one side of their brain than the other. The part of the brain that they used was based entirely on what they were doing, not on who they were as a person. So what's the big deal? Well, despite the fact that the left brain, right brain theory is a myth, it shows up everywhere, from elementary school classrooms to so-called self-help books to online quizzes. And here's the problem. Telling people that they're only left brain, that is logical, or only right brain, that is they are creative, boxes them in. It leads to limiting mindsets. We've all heard the phrase, I can't do math, or I'll never be artistic. And this is a problem. Mathematicians have to come up with creative solutions all the time to logic problems. And countless pieces of famous artwork incorporate mathematical structures. And I promise you, you will never meet a quilter who can't do math or a software programmer who can't visualize creative solutions. Sure, some people have preferences, but that is not a consequence of a predestined binary brain anatomy. By the way, the best scientific minds throughout history have been incredibly creative. I mean, come on, that E equals MC squared stuff is as creative as heck. In the end, it doesn't matter if you're a painter, an architect, or an accountant. You will produce better work if you use both logic and creativity. So stop taking tests to determine whether you're left-brained or right-brained. Don't pay for that app that claims to enhance your left-brainedness or your right brainiosity. And most importantly, don't limit yourself by putting yourself in a box. You may yet be squashing your best contributions to society. In the end, everyone uses all of their brain, so you should consider that myth to be busted. If you like this video, Remember to like, subscribe, and comment below.